Hey guys, this is Mike. Uh, I'm doing this update video, uh, basically regarding AMD or ATI video drivers for your video cards. Uh, as you can see on the website, uh, I have done videos before regarding this. Uh, this is about two months old. And basically it's just addressing a lot of issues a lot of people have been having that I've seen online regarding the ATI drivers uh, when installed on 11.10 or 12.04. Now the problem isn't with the operating system. It's basically the, with the support that ATI puts into the driver itself. Um, for example, and if you guys need to watch, uh, this is Ubuntu Help Guy's channel. Um, you can go to his channel. You'll find... Uh, uh, my video there uh, you can also look up my user um, which is here on the top right corner of the video and you can also see the videos that I've uploaded as well um, which is not a formal channel per se but I do upload videos on my account as well but uh, basically um, with the latest not the latest but the the most recent release of the ATI driver which is 12.4 um, that came out basically around the same time uh, Ubuntu 12.04 came out, Precise Pangolin. Um, they didn't include a, uh, much support for the kernel versions that started coming out. In other words, for kernel versions, uh, 3.x and up. And up. Um, so basically, last night I was uh, navigating the web and I came across this website, which I come to to get some you know Ubuntu news, things like that, new apps. Um, and I found this here which is interesting a new updated driver for which is compatible with uh, for Ubuntu 12.04 and Mint 13 and with this driver we have more support or matter of fact not more it has support for an up to kernels 3.4 uh, 3.4 uh, also includes support for a lot more video cards as you you'll see here this is just two as an example but it has a lot more support for more video cards and as well for the Zorg server 1.12. Now to install it, you can go ahead and do it here from the website. And I'll put the link in the description for all the web, web pages I'm showing you. So you can go ahead and do uh, the installation from the website, the instructions. Remember, you have to always uninstall any ATI dri Catalyst driver that you have installed. You have to remove it first. If not, you're going to encounter glitches, problems, or, or you know, a lot of crashes um, so you have to uninstall it first the instructions here are basically self-explanatory I'm not going to go into that um, although I would per I prefer myself I prefer to go ahead and do it uh, through this wiki page um, which is you can go through here if you go to the website to the AMD website itself and you search for your drivers um, and you look for 64 or 32-bit system, you're, you're, it's still going to show up as 12.04, 12.4. So you're going to have to download them yourself, which is uh, if you click on here, unofficial wiki for AMD Linux driver, it'll take you to a couple of pages right before this, then you just choose a uh, uh, distribution specific, you choose Ubuntu, uh, choose your version of Ubuntu 12.04 or any of the uh, previous versions and it'll take you here. I prefer to go ahead and click on uh, install Catalyst manually. Now the problem that ATI driver version 12.4 which is this one, uh, the problem it had previously is that with it worked out of the box perfectly fine with 64-bit Ubuntu systems. Now with 32-bit Ubuntu systems as it says here on the important note you had to install a patch. Um, because it did not work out of the box and a lot of people had a lot of problems with that and it's mentioned in the comments in the, in the YouTube video page that, that, that was showing a moment ago. Now for 12.6 it should work out of the box you don't have to apply a patch like I said you can either do the install this uh, through this website uh, the way the instructions they posted there or you can go ahead and do it through here this wiki. Uh, you'll have to of course enable um, canonical partners repositories in your software center both the the regular one and the source code you'll have to go ahead and install these prerequisites uh, packages that you need to build the Debian packages for your specific Ubuntu uh, installation uh, if you're running a 64-bit system you'll need to install also these extra packages and uh, put then this is basically just copy paste this to the terminal like I said, either way, this is a longer method because you're you're creating 
Debian packages of the ATI Catalyst Driver and Control Center for your specific Ubuntu installation. This is, you could say, this is a more run-of-the-mill generic uh, installation here. Yes, it is easier, uh, but like I said, whichever way is more comfortable with you. Then, um, basically, you're just going to create the folders, as you'll see here on the website. It's already updated to 12.6. Um, you'll download it through a terminal with this command here, and you give it the permissions. Uh, with this, you'll create the installer packages, and then with this, you'll install all four dev files. They're going to be dev files, and they're going to be four. So once you're done with that, you're basically going to go scroll down, and you're going to uh, generate the config file, uh, which is with this command here, where it says generate config. And once you're done with that, just basically restart your computer. It should automatically default to that driver, uh, to the one you just installed for the ATI. It's not going to. It's going to default on that. Should work perfectly out of the box. Uh, hopefully, I haven't tested it with GNOME Shell yet, but it should work with that. Like I said, they integrated a lot of support for the new kernel versions, uh, which is what was missing with this uh, 12.4 uh, version of of the driver. Because as you can see here, it still says April 25th, so obviously it's not the new one. So like I said, either installation method should be fine. You don't have to patch for 32-bit systems. Uh, it should work out of the box perfectly. So hopefully it, everything will be uh, working fine. If you have any uh, questions or problems, uh, please go ahead, put them in a the comment section. Uh, I'm not the know-all, be-all expert on Ubuntu or ATI. Uh, but I like to do my homework, you know, doing uh, you know, doing Google searches, which I also um, uh, I also uh, go ahead and, and, and ask you to do if you can. But usually, you know, I'll go to the Ubuntu forums website and I'll post any you know any inquiries, any questions there, and I'll get good feedback from a lot of the developers and programmers for uh, a lot of people that support Ubuntu strongly. So that's basically the video update. Just letting you know there's a new version out. It should fix a lot of problems that you've been having, uh, especially if you've stayed on a previous version of Ubuntu because uh, uh, your ATI driver is not working well with 12.04. Now you can install it. Hopefully everything should work fine out of the box. Um, you should, uh, you don't, that way you can go ahead and upgrade and go get this uh, Ubuntu version Precise Pangolin and have your long-term support and don't have to worry about reinstalling or formatting a new system for several years, hopefully. So that's it for this video, and thank you very much for watching. If you if you liked the video or was informative for you, click on like. Please subscribe to either Ubuntu Help Guy or my channel. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little bit more diverse with uh, making videos and not just uh, center around uh, uh, ATI graphics issues. And uh, see you later then. Take care.